Hi everyone, in previous classes we have studied about the Aufbau principle, Pauli's exclusion principle and Huhn's rule and plus L rule. These rules are says about the energy levels of their orbitals or their subshells and these rules says about in a what wave of a manner or in a what condition the electrons are distributed in their orbitals. In today's class I wish to discuss with you the electronic configuration. Electronic configuration. Already you know about the electronic configuration when we are studied uh, in that uh, rules. In this class, I wish to discuss with you thoroughly only about the electronic configuration. So, what do you mean by electronic configuration? Electronic configuration means the distribution of an electrons in a different orbitals in an atom. So see here the distribution of distribution of you know, electrons distribution of electrons in different orbital in different orbital orbital in an atom in an atom. So consider here we are having a hydrogen atom and helium, lithium, barium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen. So many of atoms we are having here in this atoms, in these atoms how the electrons are distributed in their different orbital in an atom is called as an electronic configuration. Before we are going to write the electronic configuration, just I wish to say a one general example to you. So consider these are a little boys have a name S, P, D, F. So these are four boys. These are four boys. These boys are competent in weightlifting competition. So S boy can lift only 2 kg only 2 kg and p boy lift only 6 kg and d lift 10 kg f lift 14 kg so like this the capacity of s boy is only a 2 kg more than 2 kg he can't lift the weight so like this, the P boy has a capacity to lift a 6 kg, D have a capacity to 10 kg and F have capacity to lift only a 14 kg. So more than these values, they can't have capacity to lift weight. Like this, our S orbitals, P orbitals and D orbitals and F orbitals have their capacity to accommodate electrons in their orbitals. So see here, in a S orbital, we can fill only two electrons. In a P orbitals, we can fill only a six, maximum six electrons. So this is the capacity of P orbitals to accommodate the electrons. And D orbitals, in the D orbitals, maximum we can fill 10 electrons in a f orbitals maximum we can fill 14 orbitals so why the capacity is maximum up to these values so see here in a one orbital we can fill a two electrons already you know that s orbital we are having only one orbital in a p subshell we are having a three orbitals means px, py, pz. So see here, in a one orbital we can fill two electrons. So in this one orbital then we can fill two electrons. Here, here also we can fill two electrons. So totally how many electrons I fill here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Totally 6 electrons I can fill here. And totally 2 electrons I fill here. So the S have the capacity to fill two electrons. P orbitals have a maximum capacity to fill 6 electron only like this in D and in F also. That's why 
these s p d f are having 2 6 10 14 capacity to fill electron or to accommodate the electron and next we are going to write how the electronic configuration write to different atoms so see here in a afbo principle i already told you according to their increasing energy level we can fill the electrons so these are the increasing energy levels of the different orbitals first energy level is 1s we can come in this way in this way and next we came 2s orbital we came 2s orbital and next energy levels are 2s and 2 sorry 2p and 3s orbital and next is 3p 4s orbital after the 4s we have 3d 4p and 5s orbital so like this in this like this in this diagonal downward manner you can write your uh, different orbitals in their increasing level of their energies so i wish to write here first level is 1s next level is 2s and next is 3s sorry next is 2p because we are come like this no? next level is 2p and next is 3s again we are moving here 3s after the 3s we are having 3p and after 3p we are having 4s after 4s again we are having 3d so these are the increasing level of their uh, orbitals here I will write electronic configuration of hydrogen to write the electronic configuration you must know their atomic number according to their atomic number we can fill electrons in their orbital here hydrogen have the atomic number one so first energy level is 1s so how many electrons are in hydrogen one electron I right here 1s1 is the electronic configuration of hydrogen and next is helium 1s only we are having 1s the first energy level here how many electrons are there two electrons 1s2 is the electronic configuration of helium and next one is three electrons three electrons here I, I write a 1s2 s can have capacity 2 and next here in the 3 electron another 1 electron is remaining there and that 1 electron is goes in this energy level means 2s1 so calculate here 2 plus 1 is 3 like this barium has 4 atomic number 1s2 after that 1s2 we can move with 2s2 so how many electrons are there 4 electrons 2 plus 2 is 4 and next consider here boron 5 electrons are there first 1s2 this energy level is filled and after the filling of this energy level we move we move with this 2s 2s2 and next we move with 2p 2p how many electrons are remaining yeah here, here we are having a five electrons 2 plus 2 is 4 just remaining one electron i mentioned here 2p 1 like this the carbon having the six electron 1s2 2s2 2p 2 because p electron sorry p orbital have maximum how many electrons six electrons and next nitrogen 1s2 2s2 4 remaining three electrons are accommodate here and next oxygen 8 1s2 2s2 four electrons i already filled here in a p orbitals remaining four orbitals i mentioned here and in a fluorine 1s2 2s2 2p 
5 and in a neon 1s2, 2s2, totally 4 and next remaining 6 electrons are accumulated in p orbital. So, see here 1s orbital is also fulfilled and 2s also fulfilled and next 2p, p orbital also fulfilled. Maximum we reach a 6 electron in a p orbital. So, next so see here 1s is fulfilled, 2s is fulfilled, 2p also fulfilled. Next energy level is 3s. We can move the energy level. Next one is 3s here. So, see here 1s2 up to this much we are having a 10 electron. So, the here also the same configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, again 3s, 1 only. We are having 11 electrons 2 plus 2, 4, 4 plus 6, 10, 10 plus 1 is 11. So, like this in a magnesium, we are having a 12, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, and next 3s1. So, see, sorry, 3s2. Here also all energy levels are completely filled, means 3s also filled in a magnesium. So, what next energy level came here? 3p come here. So, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2. Next one is 3p. How much? 1. And next, almost same configuration is here. I wish to write it here. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 10. 3s2, 12. And next, 14. 3p, 2. Calculate these numbers is equals to their atomic number. Then only your electronic configuration is right way. And next 15, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3s2, 3p3. And next 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p4. So, see here 16 electrons, 2 plus 2, 4, 4 plus 6, 10, 10 plus 2, 12, 12 plus 4 is 16. And next, chlorine 17, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p5. This is a 10, 10 plus 2, 12, 12 plus 5, 17. So, see. And next in our gun, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 10 electron already is there. 3s2, 3s2. So, observe here, we can reach a maximum level of p orbital, means 6 orbital. Then, how many electrons are there? 2 plus 2, 4, 4 plus 6, 10, 10 plus 2, 12, 12 plus 6, 18 electrons. So, totally 18 electrons are there. And next one is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. 3s2, 3p6. So, here we are having a 18 electrons, but in a potassium, we have 19 electrons. So, see here, 3p is also completely filled there and next orbital, so next energy level is 4s. So, I write 4s1. Now, the electrons are 19 equals to its atomic number. And next one is the calcium 20, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6 and next one is 4s2. Already 4s also completed here. Then at 21st element, what we are right here, what will be come here 3d orbital. So, this is all about the, uh, how to write the electronic configuration of different elements. There are two exceptional in a next uh, 25th and 
ninth means in a chromium and in a copper there little bit of the electronic configuration is change why this electronic configuration is little bit change i explain you in a next class according to their stability so i wish to complete the class here only